Hello everybody, it is Sherry from Sage Soul and Spirit here for a daily card reading. If you, you know, click on this video several days from now, these cards are still going to pertain. Whenever you click on the video, those cards are going to be significant for you for the day. So welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you so much for your comments and support. Um, it's greatly appreciated. And if you're new here, please do like and subscribe. And um, I do various things. And my aim is just to to give you guys messages and help you through the day. And hopefully I'm doing that. So um, today I'm going to do a daily message. Um, and I am going to, uh, in the following, in the coming weeks, I'm going to try and do some, a bit of tarot teaching too. So hopefully you guys will tune in for that. And, um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Grab your cup of joe and let's go. Okay. So today we're using the Rider Weight deck. Okay. It's the traditional uh, tarot deck, I guess, and has been around for many, many years. My cards have, I don't know, I've had them for over 20 years. They have a ton of energy in them and um, uh, I love them. So that's all I can say about that. But any deck will do if you're doing this at home for yourself. Um, you know, just ground, center, and uh, pick a card, any card. Um, you know, if, if you're looking for a sign or a symbol on a particular day, you know, you could even just grab a book and open the book and point your finger at a word in the book. And, um, you know, that might be your sign or symbol for the day. So there's many, many ways that spirit comes through. So let's get going. So I'm just going to shuffle these cards up a little bit. And then we're going to see if we have any flippers. <sighs> centering and grounding. Centering and grounding. What does everyone need to know today? There we go. Okay. Okay, so I got my first card here that flipped up. I just want to grab a couple more. There we go. Got number two. They're flippers today, everybody. Again, I like it when it does that. Okay, and then we've got... I'm just going to... Hmm. See what comes up out of the third one. Okay, and now we've got the third one. Okay, so here we go. Let's do it, do it, do it. I know my hair looks a mess, but what can you do? It's first thing in the morning. It's all good. Okay, so here we go. Wow, this is interesting. Um, we have, <laughs> this is very interesting. So the first card that has come up is the ace of cups okay and with the ace of cups if you look at the card um i it's it's the beginning of something new with an ace it's always the very beginning okay and with this cup it's an opening of the heart okay if and if you look it's heaven sent the hand comes to you right out of the clouds there and he's holding that big cup so this is a heaven sent opening of the heart. It's about love, everybody. If you look in behind here, there's five little streams of water, okay? And those are pretty significant in this card because I think they indicate the five senses, okay? So you're having an opening of the heart, but you're having an opening of the heart through all of your senses, okay? So you're really, truly feeling it. You're smelling it. You're, it's, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful card. If you look at the bottom here, there's water lilies, okay? So here, those represent an opening of your psychic senses, okay? Or your psychic unfolding. So this card is all about 
the desire for happiness and joy and love, okay? This is searching for love. The dove represents spirit, okay? And it's new spiritual insight or, or breakthrough of some sort. So whatever it is that you're doing with spirit, you're loving it, okay? You, it, It's a breakthrough. It's, it's something that you've been waiting for for a long time. And, um, you know, it's gifts from above. If you see all the little droplets of water here, it's things that you have shed away in order for this new thing to come in. So this is all about love. This could be at the beginning of a new romance. This could be, you know... <laughs> It's just a beginning of the opening of the heart, you guys. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. And it's like it just comes out of nowhere, okay? Out of nowhere, out of nowhere. So that's the first card. The second card is the sun, okay? Now, this little guy is open to anything. The way he has his arms way open, he's open to any kind of possibility. And this is a major card, and again, it's a night number 19. So if you break down 19, nine plus one equals 10, one plus zero equals one. So again, it's beginnings, okay? It's the beginning of something new, but it's also lessons. You've learned all your lessons up until this point, okay? So you've graduated in a sense, and now you're happy and there's contentment and there's all kinds of lessons that you've learned. The other thing about this little boy is he's wide open. He's got nothing to hide, folks. He's naked, he's got nothing to hide. He is like an open book. So if this is you, you're like an open book, okay? And he holds this banner here. And I believe the banner is a representation of life, okay? So he's learned a lot of lessons along the way. If we start with the fool, he's still he's still learning, but he's just about there. He's almost done his journey, okay? So then we look at the sunflowers back here. And the sunflowers, you know, they're bright, they're sunny. They, I, I feel like they represent that there's four of them, so that would be element the elements okay so air earth wind and fire um so you know he's still continuing in his development there okay so the horse again any horses in the tarot represent movement okay so this this guy on here is satisfied and he, the horse represents freedom it's a white horse so he's free to move to any kind of new opportunities that he finds so he's continuing his progression he's moving in a forward direction and he's open to any of the new possibilities that are at hand, okay? The glorious sun in the background. I mean, it's a very bright and happy card. It's full of contentment, okay? So this is a lovely card coupled with that ace of hearts. It's something new. It's something new, uh, a new beginning, a new job, a new career, a new, um, you know, a new friendship, a new um romance anything new like that okay so um and then the last card we get <laughs> is the knight of swords <laughs> so this guy okay you may think oh that's not good but actually this guy you know this guy's a mover and a shaker he's on his horse and he has messages to bring and he's not tardy about it let's put it that way he's very quick in his movement and let me tell you you want this guy on your side because this guy will defend the underdog so he's not he's a mover and a shaker and he gets things done okay this guy might be to the point of being bossy okay so just know that um, he's focused energy he's pushy and he's got speed and urgency about him, okay? So you need to pay attention today, guys, okay? This guy cuts through the chase and he speaks the truth. And even if the truth hurts, he speaks it. He speaks because that's how he is. The sword represents truth, okay? He can cut through the BS and get straight to the heart of the matter, okay? This guy is often a misunderstood 
person, okay? They may seem rough around the edges, but they can be a bit misunderstood. So, but he does get to the truth of the matter at hand. So, so just pay attention today, okay? So now if we bring those three cards together, we have got love and happiness and all things sunshine bright, new beginnings, emotional um, attachment, just... It's just these two cards together are a lovely card. So this one just doesn't seem to fit, does it? So what I'm going to tell you is this guy, and he's riding toward, if you notice, he's riding toward these two cards. So someone during the day today is, um, I just want to say, going to poop on your parade, okay? So if you're feeling loved and gratitude and grateful and you're excited and everything is new and you're content and you're happy and then this fella is going to kind of ride in there and stir things up a bit okay he's going to be bossy about it and pushy so just be patient with him because he's often misunderstood okay um, people don't understand and he means well he doesn't mean to um He's not there to double cross you. He's just there to get you to stay alert and pay attention. So someone may be behaving a little out of character today and a little bit more on the darker side of things, but um, know that he has your back, okay? And um, he's racing toward you. So just stay alert for any messages and pay attention to what's going on around you, okay? So he's a mover and a shaker. So this is somebody who shakes things up and can be very pushy. So I want you just to enjoy your day still because that's what these two cards are about. And just know that this might be a little blip during your day. It's nothing significant. It's just a little blip during your day. This fellow might annoy you a little bit, but it's all good because you have these two wonderful cards, this one being the major and this one being absolute love card. Um, you know, he, he might, like I said, he might annoy you a little bit, but it's all good. Or maybe someone's coming home and they're just cranky. Okay. But he means well, and he does have your back. Okay, everybody. So for today, that's the message for today. Just be patient with people today and, you know, give them their space if need be. All right. And with that, it is Sherry signing off from Sage, Soul and Spirit. I hope you're enjoying what I'm putting out here and have yourselves a great day. Okay. Bye. Yay.